Hey there, I'm actually headed to the airport. I'm just about to pull out in my driveway. It's not normal that I have a hat on and look um, too casual, but um, I'm rolling incognito at night. About to go pick up my man, uh, Dr. Lee, C.M. Lee Jr. You may follow him on Facebook. If not, please do. Kind of a partner in crime. He's been on the podcast a couple times very good friend and he has a lot of wisdom and insight to share. However, uh, my share tonight, what I'd like to talk to you about is are you waiting or are you patient? And in my Ruled In series, my free ebook that you can get if you go to my website and get on my mailing list, talks about patience and I talk about patience being a farce, but I'd like to elaborate on uh, the splitting of hairs of patience versus waiting and it's in my experience that if you're waiting if one is waiting if we're waiting for something to happen if we're waiting for our time to come if we're just waiting for our big break and not doing anything well then your patience will be tested and ultimately you probably won't be as patient as a person as you would like to be. Now, if you are putting in the effort regularly and you are making the consistent effort, then it's not about waiting because it's only a matter of time. Uh, I liken it to pedaling up that hill. It may be hard, it may be difficult. However, if I keep pedaling, it will only be a matter of time before I reach the top. Now, with our goals, with our targets, with whatever it is we want to do, it requires consistent effort. And I meet a lot of people, unfortunately, that are waiting for the big break or waiting for their time to come. The truth is, the hard facts are, your time is now. Our time is now. I don't guarantee guarantee outcome. I don't guarantee consequences, but I do guarantee that if you get into action, direct action towards something you want, a dream you have, a talent you want to explore, you will be better off the following day than you were the day before for having tried it. Your patience will become stronger and better, and you will cease to be waiting for your time to come. Now, on that note, what just hit my head was the concept of blame and responsibility or fault and responsibility. And I'd like to leave you with this. It may not be your fault if you're in a bad way. It may not be your fault if you lose. It may not be your fault if you are at a disadvantage. It is, however, your responsibility to do something about it. As you all know, I love you guys. Let's stay in touch. Bring me in to speak. I will light it up. And uh, I'm going to go pick my man up at the airport. I have to get gas on the way. So can't keep him waiting. And uh, we will see you soon. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I'm actually thinking of starting a private Facebook group for a small fee, small monthly fee. And in that, I will do, I'm thinking about doing some weekly trainings and then obviously unlimited questions to me and then just a great community of um, master-minded, brilliant individuals trying to get, not trying to, getting, working to get what they want and uh, just blast through the stratosphere in life. So drjasonrichardson.com or you can always contact me here on Facebook or Instagram at Real Dr. J. Rich. I'm out. Love you guys again and please take care. Bye.